Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back here, another Astro Gravitation Hour report and daily wisdom for you. For those who are in a hurry up and watching the first few minutes of the report, I want to know what the overall energy is. The overall energy will be get to work, set you up yourself to work. Uh, after this uh, new moon uh, that we have, and uh, specifically that uh, today, early in the morning, which is that's going to be at 7 o'clock in the morning, Greenwich time, that is going to be the time when the Mercury is going to be turning retrograde, exactly, because at 7 o'clock he's going to be still direct, but right after 7 o'clock he turns into a retrograde motion. That has to do with the rising uh, energies and the shift of that moment that it comes in. You might experiencing uh, broke down communications, you might experiencing uh, work related communications, all sorts of kind of communications, including partnership, uh, internal self communications. But they're all related to what? They're all related about the love and uh, the growth within uh, the material world. And that's what Mercury is going to be about. What is the truth within you about the love that it's going to have to materialize into the material three-dimensional prospect within your life? Talking about uh, this, that is uh, related between a Venus that is sextile Mercury retrograde and Mercury is going to be trining Jupiter while Venus is opposing Jupiter. And in order to do this work, uh, the moon, uh, actually the new moon uh, in there, you might see it, the moon is behind the background. But uh, talking about that the moon is going to move from this expressions to this talks, to this communications and so on, you need to understand Sag is also a form of communication. We're talking about in Sag, that is a, the writers, that is a, the movie makers, the journalists and so on in there and one way or another they are influenced uh, by mercury in there and talking about this intuitions uh, that is going to be moved there this new beginning of there it has its purpose and the purpose is to do the work the what you set out to do whatever you say it goes words are words work is work actions are backing up what is within your words and this is going to be kind of like a mercury retrograde and this energy of the new moon that right now it's coming is all about are you truth to back it up yourself or whatever so far you've been done all right so with that being set uh, in there so here is your uh, daily chart that it comes in all right so he's in your screen so this is a the chart uh, there this is what i'm talking about that uh, mercury is right in here and i'm uh, in order to see it really uh, i backed it up one hour which is a six o'clock right here and there is no r he has not turned the retrograde area yeah. and this is a at seven o'clock there is no even r right here but right in what are we talking about? At 8 o'clock, he's turning retrograde. So uh, when you wake up in the morning, uh, talking about 7 o'clock, this is what the energy will be. Mid heaven, as usually in the past few days, he's been and is all about uh, this balance. The ascendant working together with Jupiter within this case, as you see it, you know, still here, Mars, the sun and uh, the moon. They are beginning into these divine energies with Uranus, uh, the separations of the divine energies between the intuition and Uranus, they're going to be lower down. But there is this square with Neptune, which is, is, you don't see, you have to look at it beyond the veil. There is a veil, there is a fog, there is something goes behind all this. Uh, but uh, Mercury retrograde is squaring uh, mid Kevin that it's going to be kind of like a, something is breaking my balance, something is breaking my thing, something is going on inside. And you're going to find out that today, throughout the hours, you're going to be seeing it, uh, those uh, changes. So what happened is uh, within the changes in the next hour, which is at 8 o'clock uh, in the morning, the ascendant is between the sun, Mars and uh, the moon riding here. 
uh, very kind of like a powerful divine energy is like, don't worry about it. The divine's got you. You know what you're doing. There's going to be this divine balance and you're going to get your vision. Okay. But don't just look at it and put your authority and intuition currently is like forcing to see a vision, forcing to remove the veil. You need to understand there is a responsibility when you remove that. Are you going to have the guts to see the truth or what the truth is? Because if you're not ready for the truth, you better don't know the truth because you're not ready for it. Because the truth can lead you some part away or can distract you of things that, that you do. And the truth is you. Are you ready? You to discover you. Now, this is going to be interesting energy. So it's not a lot of people going to be working on themselves during this Christmas energies. But it's beautiful. Because true personality leads to a true, beautiful life that can give you a chance to have a true, beautiful happiness. So, uh, talking about that happiness, as you see it here in the next hour, uh, meet Kevin, it's together with Venus. But this is what I'm talking about uh, right here. This blue harmonized energies with Mercury that it's going to be with Venus uh, and uh, there. So, as soon as uh, Mercury is going to be stay here for a little bit today, then he's going to become, uh, you know, uh, retrograde. Uh, and that energy between Venus and uh, um, Mercury is going to be broken down. But before it's broken down, though, what the interesting part will be, I will make the video. Uh, it is about that Mercury and the Sun is going to be exchanging their positions. The one is going to be crossing to Capricorn and the other is going to be crossing at Sag at the same time. Interesting. Well, if you have a work that you need to do and you see what it takes and what the learning and what expressions are needs to be done, now you have to learn how to do it. And that's what Mercury is going to do. Mercury is going to go back to Sanch, you to talk to yourself, you to learn things from yourself, you to go dive within there and then express what you learn and then go do it. Okay, then go do it. So uh, with that energy uh, in the next hour, the mid heaven is going to be at Scorpio uh, at that uh, port portions of the day. Uh, Mercury, it's rising above the horizon. You're going to feel more the energies and the vibrations of the communications. Feel like I don't want to talk to certain people. I don't want to have certain communications. We need to understand those internal communications from within you. They are going to be the best energies and the best spiritual messages are coming during Mercury retrograde. So if you have something to do, if you have something to say, this is a very powerful moment you to do that. Talking about in the next hour, the ascendant goes into Aquarius. Uh, as uh, to be paying attention, those hours at 11 o'clock, they're not kind of like a pretty because they're squaring Venus and squaring uh, Jupiter. Uh, but meet Kevin, it's helping you. It is about it like, hey, your job and your focus is here to learn things uh, about the uh, material world. And we are talking about it by pretty much the end of January. This Taurus situation is going to be lifted. They're both Jupiter and Uranus. They're going to be going direct. So if you have to do something, begin to do it something after the January ends. Okay. Right now, you're learning. Take your time to learn yourself. Be your truth to yourself. Get that truth within you. And January made the true actions. And talking about the next hour, the mid heaven is with the authority, with the sun. That's what this divine authority that you need to take within yourself. Because that authority to listen this universe, to listen this Uranus, to help you to be in that material world is lying with who within you. You don't listen to that divine authority. You, you lost. You're kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. I got to depending on the divine. I have to depending on the things and so on. But is it the divine depending on you? to choose the divine. It is that the divine tells you, maybe you don't need me. You already have everything that I told you. You will know everything is inside of you. Okay, if you need the divine, ask for the divine. If you 
as the divine don't receive something nothing but you just said i gave you everything that you need all you have to do is do it the question is why not do it and you're going to learn this uh, energies they're going to be coming in right now with mercury retrograde Excuse me. Sorry about that. But uh, my throat was dry. Can't keep it up with uh, this. Um, talks too much when I dry. But uh, talking about these energies uh, right in here, you need to find the mysteries. You need to understand that uh, those energies that are going to be coming in in the next few days, uh, they're, uh, they're going to be challenging to you until you get to get used to it to this shift and especially during the new moon uh periods uh in there you may gonna find out uh things that you you look more within rea self-realizations not realizations but self-realizations but also what do you do with that self-realization because when at the moon it's crossing to the capricorn uh, you're going to find out the uh, triggers that maybe is something that you have to do. It has to do with be a professional to yourself, but also that you have something to do with uh, the public service. You need to understand most of the public servants who has a dignity understanding their situations, they have something in Capricorn, especially if you have the 10th house uh, Capricorn or you have uh, North Node at... Uh, uh, at uh, Capricorn, you definitely are something with this. So it depends on what you in your house, in your chart uh, is uh, located. If that is at the fifth house, that's mean you're going to be a professional. You're going to be working with kids and something with the maturity within kids. That is at the 12th house, spirituality, spiritual teacher, psychologist uh, is also there. If you have any other things uh, inside. That could lead to even to more esoteric uh, portion. That's in the sixth house. You're a doctor or you have something with healing. If that is in the seventh house, you're probably going to be working as a marriage counselor right? and there or a lawyer, a divorce lawyer or something like that. If you're at the, the eighth house, you're going to be dealing with uh, financial advisor, divorcing people's money. And the relationship with others with money. What do they do and how they do it? It could be probably dealing with uh depends of what is he got in there. You can probably even dealing with uh, money of others or uh, doing the investigations with the money. You can be a might as well a financial police inspector. Uh, and so on. So with that being said, uh, in there a little bit off the side of the sidetracked in here uh, in the next hour mid heaven is going to be connecting with mercury uh, on these positions then you're going to understand why the mercury is shifting right now why the venus is in scorpio currently and what is jupiter is going to teach you to go back we are talking about two retrograde planets they're affecting venus this is it, the moment when you put the spiritual energies of love down to earth down within down there you to see what you have to remove and clean maybe some of you is going to be seeing a this desire for intimacy for sexuality and so on and so on but all of a sudden you're going to find this emptiness within there because that emptiness doesn't bring you the joy and the love and the part inside as the way it is so uh, some of you is going to be finding this because you need some healing in there we're talking about uh, that uh, energy power divine energy power from uh, chiron okay is that i see the wounds if yeah, i just go out and do intimacy but with no feelings no nothing just for the physical things i understand how much wounded i am now i have to heal my wounds and i have to understand not to do this very powerful very powerful energy if you work in that self-healing inside of you so talking about it, uh, two o'clock uh, mid heaven, it's uh, going ahead uh, at this time uh, for it. The ascendant is going to be more with uh, Uranus, as you see it here. The universe creates all these energies. It's helping all with this. 
but uh, that energy uh, that is going towards the divine right here it lies more within the masculine talking about Mars has no other aspect Mars right now it's focus of his expressions and the divine and the divine energies he's like I ex I'm going with whatever the universe is I trust surrender and let go and I'm awakened and aware of, of what is going on that's it simple as that I'm not going to create any actions I'm going to see what the actions is going to bring it to me so I will know how to act and react but currently I don't have to do anything I just have to sit And talking about the next hour, talking about this ascendant that it's going to be at Gemini and the Midheaven at uh, Aquarius, the situations of this, of the new revolutions. If you are pushing more towards uh, pushing new, to forcing new things, you need to understand everything with force doesn't help. Everything has to be evolved naturally. But when an evolution is pushing you to evolve, you better move. You better act, you better react. And that is going to be that uh, energy of uh, going down into that ascendant because the divine energies between Mercury and Venus, they are pointing out that portions in there. Are you friends with the evolution? Big question. So uh, in the next hour, Midheaven, it's at uh, Aquarius. Uh, that's what we're looking at to the new ways. We're looking at to new situations, uh, but too much within the new or too much forcing your visions within the new is not going to be permitted yet. Who is there? Uranus. Uranus is saying like, nope, you have not learned yet. That's premature. Don't go. Don't hurry up. This is like, yeah, I know how to drive a car. I'm going to go be in a uh, NASCAR race driver. I know how, know how to ride horse. You were riding only once, and now you know that you can be going out and uh, doing some contest uh, of uh, uh, race horsing. You have to learn and mature with this. And that's what Uranus does for you. Listen to it. Just listen to it. All right, so talking about the next hour, it's going to be at 5 o'clock. The ascendant is at... Um, of the Aquarius, uh, beautiful energies together with Venus, together with uh, the moon uh, up here that it's coming, all that energy with Saturn. Lessons are understood to be learned, so you're going to learn. You're learning. That learning goes direct. Saturn is direct and Pisces. You're learning the mysteries of the world. You're going forward. They can help you. Okay? They can help you as long you have the right communications with you know, yourself to understand that's what you need to learn. That's what you need to do with this point. And talking about the next hour, it's about family. Same thing as the previous uh, days. I've been explaining it to you. If you uh, want to see it, you can go ahead and see it. Uh, the explanations about 4 and 5 o'clock p.m. during these times. In there, but uh, look at that ascendant uh, towards the mid heaven and uh, Uranus. That is going to tell you that here, this is what you need to do. You're working for that family, you see behind the veil, and you're doing this work for it because that helps in your authority and helps you in your masculine energies. And you're like, but what am I supposed to do? Evolve evolutions inside of you. The job, the internal job that nobody has been done for generations. You're trying to escape that job. But you can't. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. You may going to reincarnate uh, and so on and so on. What you have to do is evolution. The evolutions, it's going to be taking you. As long as it takes. The evolution doesn't have time. Okay. So, uh, talking about in the next hour, the wisdom is coming in there. Well, what about me? Oh, well, what about me? Uh, what about what I need to do right now? What uh, is all this? People who have not been changed, oh my God, I don't see them. They stay in this uh, energy opposing Pluto and uh, squaring Uranus, and that is uh, squaring Jupiter and the Jupiter opposing Venus. They are like, there is no love for me. There is no growth for me. I cannot grow with this. I can't change. I can't uh, because 
you don't satisfy your lower self. But if the lower self is taken out of the equation uh, up here, you're learning your process of growth. Your intuition is in the right place. Mercury retrogrades give you the right uh, messages in there. You begin that work of within your own self about the love. And Midheaven is sent you that divine energies to Venus. Tells you, listen, it's a learning period of time. Get that ego out of the equation of, uh, of what you need to do. Seek the higher level of existence and evolve. You may be staying on those lower energies. You're only attracting lower energies within yourself. What do you do to yourself? Think about it. And some of you is going to be have to go look and evolve. Talking about these evolutions, uh, people who can evolve, uh, they see this uh, energy of Mercury who's going to be retrograde at this time. And that is again that lessons in their Jupiter and uh, Venus uh, situations. I mean, whoever has been uh, dealing with this and uh, they've done the right situations, they, they will succeed. They go into Mars and Mars gives the courage. It's like the universe is going to fix everything. See the right visions within you and you're going to get to the right transformations. But the, if you forcing like the people have to love me the way I want them to love me, I want to love the person that I love to love me back. You're demanding on it. And I want to build with the person that I want to build. But they don't want to build with you. Now what? You have to learn to grow. Okay? Either you are not grown or they're not grown up to this. But if you both are grown up to these situations, you're going to learn the proper messages that kind of comes into you. And you're going to begin to performing after January. And talking about uh, the energy at uh, 9 o'clock uh, there, the wisdom uh, during the Leo season uh, in there reminds you what happens in there. The Pluto was uh, retrograde, the Neptune was retrograde, but now they're both direct. So they taught you during the, the Leo season uh, in there. Go back uh, if you want. You can watch some of the reports. Uh, uh, I think that uh, the best report is a Venus retrograde and Leo. I uh, can watch it in there. You can remind yourself about this energy or some of the days that was there. Uh, because Mars went through there, then the Sun went through there, Mercury went through this divine energies transitions towards Virgo. Now that energy is asking you, okay, we show you that energy six months ago. Can you perform it? Because that's what the retrogrades began six months ago of them. Yeah. Some of you is going to be looking back. And we're talking about at 10 o'clock, uh, that is going to be this earth energy. Uh, as you see, that earth energy is beautiful and passions and stable and steady. Not moving. Okay, not moving. You heal, you learned, and you are breaking down towards uh, limitations that you never thought you would. And that it's going because of uh, looking at the moon and Mercury right here, and that beautiful trine with Jupiter right now. But that also is, has as it point the fingers towards that kite points it towards Saturn. You fly there. You go in that oppositions in there. That is a what the issue is. But when you take those spread wings of that kite, you make something solid, something complete. And that is you. You're learning something solid right now. And we're talking about the next hour, which is 11 o'clock uh, in there. The ascendant is going to be at Virgo. That it's going to be a trining Jupiter, that, uh, I'm sorry, Uranus. And that is going to come down towards the Sun and Mars. But that's going to be squaring Mars. Some of the masculine energies are going to be looking as like, what is it this? Because they're looking, the duality. Are you looking into the dweller, 
why you have a doubt shadows of a doubt who is that little voice that tells you and makes you unsecure what is this lower energy that brings you down and you're like i don't feel like it's me it's your ego it is your lower uh energies those are the expectations and uh, energies that it could be inherit it could be from culture it could be a virus that you learned or you have not learned yet to develop from within yourself this dweller it's your work that you need to heal you heal that energy you understanding this energy that is a, the energy that it's connecting with uh, uh venus and venus is uh, pointing out this friendshipness with mercury retrograde are you friends within yourself and are you friends with your lower self because you can talk to your lower self and tell why do you have to be so much like this i don't you hear this doesn't help us and the lower self can tell you i'm your teacher how to evolve i'm testing you when i pull you down and you're gonna find things of mercury retrograde it's gonna be talking to you all right guys so that's what it was the astro gravitational report thank you guys for coming in thank you for uh watching it and uh come back tomorrow for another astro gravitational report Good luck, guys.